right, good evening everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, along with my buddy Tim Carroll. We got Daniel and Mr. Berry. Miss Lisa, we ain't gonna have no good cooked groceries tonight. We can be farther down the line, I think, Tim. But we're gonna bring y'all some exciting Region 2A baseball. We just got through a basketball last week. Tim's been, him and Brad's come in and uh, been catching us up on baseball. And uh, Tim got a lot of good shot of uh, the Clinch County seniors this year. They have two, four, seven of them. Uh, good group. I know Coach Lee's talked highly on the seniors, all of them great kids. Tim, tell us about some of the baseball. Uh, Panthers are seven and three so far. They uh, on on two game skid. They lost to Eccles uh, six to one last Friday, and then last night they lost a tough one to uh, Tift area three to two. One and one in the region. Uh, incoming is Wilcox County, five and zero undefeated. They are uh, when they were in middle school. They're the ones that gave us a fit. Um, we end up playing them for the championship, I think. So they're, that's back when Kyle Hendricks hit the home run. Yeah, I remember that right. out there at the rec park. And they was. had him. That Turner County had a kid that was real good, Branson Owens, and he's moved over here. So they are. Uh, they, they think this is probably going to be their year. Oh, man, they got it. And you know, Tisdale played basketball Saturday. Uh, me and David went over there and watched. Uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to all the Region 2A teams. You had Wilcox made it to the Final Four. They got eliminated Saturday. And the Turner girls made it. They got eliminated. So, uh, Region 2A, well representative in basketball, just like football, Tim. And we expect the same thing in baseball, I guess, brother. Um, yeah, I think the region's a little more even this year. Uh, Irwin County's big pitcher, the big kid they had, that they moved to another county. So, uh, they where lost. Where did he go, Tim? Went to Houston County. Houston County. Boy, I, th that. I think it's going to be a little more open. And Charlton County's down a little bit. So, I think it uh Region region champion could have three or four losses before it's over. Well, man, everybody, uh, I, I went uh, to my doctor yesterday, Miss Rhonda, over in Tifton, and her son's a senior at Turner County, and uh, she was talking about Eccles County. Man, Eccles must be for real now. I mean, they did. They had, they had one transfer in from Valdosta. I thought it was three, but uh, two couldn't get eligible. And uh, I think they just they, they weren't bad last year. No, now. man, we went to extra innings. You right. remember over in State when we beat them by a run here in Homerville, you know. They, right. They always play Homerville tough, though. Always. Uh, yeah. I, I can one, remember when one, you was coaching, when Ashton had played, and they brought that girl over here. <laughs> and they beat us that time. Had a girl in center field. <laughs> yeah. Girl in center field and the born left field had his glove on the wrong hand. <laughs> yeah. She was a good athlete. She sure was. <laughs> but, man, it ought to be the fields looking good, Tim. Mm -hmm. I think we'll get the, get the game in ahead of the weather. Yeah, it looks like uh, about 10 or 11, we'd start the chances of rain pick up. It's just a little above us right now. And, and man, Tim, before we start, you know, all our prayers are going out to all the victims up in Tennessee that had that bad weather. Man, how about you leading us in a word of prayer before we get started here, brother? All right. Father, thank you so much for this day, God, and just the opportunity to come and speak to you. God, we thank you for this game that we get to play tonight. God, we pray that you'll build a hedge protection around each and everybody here involved, players, coaches, umpires, fans. God, just give them travelers mercy as they travel home. Father, we just thank you. Pray for good sportsmanship in the game tonight, God, and we just thank you for each and everything you do in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good job, brother. Tim, mm -hmm. man, like you said, the region's wide open this year. Uh, we've always had Irwin, Charlton, you know, now it's, uh, I guess you can flip a quarter and any night it's anybody's game. That's, That's going right. to make some exciting baseball for me and you this year. Yeah, Telfair lost, uh, had a good bit graduate last year too. So I think everybody's about even for a change. And uh, it's uh, this is the last year of the power ranking. So after this year, we'll go back to region play where the top four uh, will make the state playoffs just based on your region schedule. And man, now, and of course, that'll bring some more teams into our region. Brooks will be. I guess in our region. I think Brooks is the only one we're gaining, but we're losing uh, Telfair and Wilcox. Tim, I was looking at that, uh, that football, football aspect. You know, there's going to be a good team that well, this year we had five teams made the playoffs due to the power rankings. Right. That was an advantage. Next year it's going back one to four. So there's going to be a good team, possibly a well, with Wilcox, seven and three team that don't make the playoffs. With Wilcox and Telfair not being in the region, that's two that that. I think made the playoffs last year. They did. Both so, of them did. So it's going to be a, you know, it's. I think it's going to be a pretty even region again because uh, Irwin County graduated a lot. I mean, they'll still be good. Oh, you know, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, I mean, they've got that tradition now, man. Right. They've been on fire. They're doing a great job over there yeah, in Irwin. Folks at Irwin are still dealing with that recent loss of their head coach and AD. 
Um, but now they've made it official with their coach now. I, the, I have they? I haven't heard. Yeah, that was last week. He's the AD and head coach. Uh, his daddy coached at uh, was he the Turner. Inter- was he the interim coach last year? Yeah, he was the Casey interim. Soliday? Uh, yeah, isn't that Coach Soliday's son? Brother. That coach? Oh, that's his brother. His brother, okay. yeah. Yeah, because uh, Coach Soliday, I think, went to the, who we played yesterday. Tift area, area right. didn't he? He did. He in retired football. and retired and took the Tift area job. Uh, yeah, they made that official last week. I yeah. seen. I them was up. hoping they do that. I mean, he's been there a long time, and he did most of it this year. You know. Uh, oh, can you imagine the pressure and having to deal with you know just the tragic of the uh, yeah the, the, the losing. It was like a father to all them kids. Oh, yeah. I had coached yeah. them and he, having to deal with that and win and uh, the, having probably one of the best teams in the history of Irwin County, man. Uh, I think those seniors last year were in the seventh grade when he came, so that was kind of his first yeah. group he took from eighth grade on. So, uh, I mean, he's really got them back up uh, to playing great. And, man, like I say, Irwin's been good. Last year they made it to the Final Four in basketball. You basketball, know. baseball, in and, Yeah, and, uh, man. Uh, and finals in football, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, you know, this is a baseball season. How long will baseball season run now? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> till end of May with all the playoffs. But um, regular season usually ends about a week after spring break. So playoffs usually start around the 1st of May. Mm-hmm. So we got still got another six weeks or so. Let's go ahead and give them the lineups real quick yeah, while, they're, while they're finishing their infield, outfield, and, and uh, the coaches will talk at home plate. For Wilcox, Wilcox is 5-0. and Um Leading off is going to be number one, Cam Patterson. He's the, he's going to be the DH for the shortstop. Uh, batting second is going to be number eight. Number eight, Brock. Double check here. Brock White, I believe his name is. Let me double check. Got it correct. Brock White. Batting third is going to be number. He's going, he's going to be playing third. Number ten, Branson Owens is going to be pitching. Number five, Rhett Davis is going to be catching. Number three, Desmond Tisdale is going to be in center field. Number six, Jordan Stevens is going to be at first. And number 15, Lagan Luke will be in right field. Abe Stowe, number two, is going to be playing left field. And number four, Cam Coleman will be playing second. And that's your but, Wilcox lineup, That's Wilcox. Tim? For Clinch County, they're seven and three, one and one in the region. Number 11, Josh Pickler is going to lead off and play second. 32, Darius Dorsey is going to be – Bat second to play right field. Number three, Kyle Hendricks is going to be catching. Number eight, Lane Palmer will be in left field. Number 15, Josh Griffiths will be at third base. Number 12, Gabe Morris will be at first. Number seven, Freddie Loffley is going to be dh and for number 23, Patrick Kimple, who is your center fielder. Number one, Brady Register is going to be on the mound. Number 10, Landon Allen is going to bat ninth and play shortstop. All right, man. Who's got the hot hand for the Panthers this year swinging the bat? Oh. I, when I talked to Coach uh, Coach Douglas a week or two ago, he said that um, uh, Pigler was hitting the ball real well. Man, he did a great off. job yeah. last year. Good he contact did. hitter, man. He did. You know, a lot of these kids uh, are well well seasoned because uh, even though we lost some good seniors last year, a lot of these underclassmen played and uh, had some key – some key at bats and some key experience in the playoffs. So, anytime the, the more you can play, the more experience you get, the more comfortable you are. That's right. And man, wait, let's talk about some of the kids. Tim, you come in, man, and I've been you know carry basketball with Carisu playing. Tate Kite is on a tear, brother. He is. I need to look it up. He's up, up at, at uh, Georgia Gwinnett. And he's still growing. I mean, he graduated about 6'4". I think he's 6'7 now. Every bit of it. <laughs> Every bit of it. 100 pounds, it looks like. Every bit uh, of it. Man, I know he hit one the other night. You couldn't find the ball. But he knew it was out. He just started skipping the first. <laughs> he, oh, he had he's been that, on when, he, when he left us here, he was a little bit thin. But um, he is not thin anymore. Man, I'm telling you. Oh, carried. Couldn't whoop him with the axe handle now, I don't believe. I don't believe so. want to try. No, no. Uh, I know uh, they beat the number one team in the country uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think. Uh, Tate hit a home run, made a couple of good catches there at first, man. Uh, and, you know, then, of course, we have uh, Duncan playing up in Atlanta, I think. In, in Georgia, State. Georgia State. Georgia right. State. And, and uh, Duncan, is, I mean, no, no, Warren is over at uh, BSU. He is. Uh, me and David seen his picture in the basketball gym the other day. They got a picture of the team. 
uh, VSU uh, thing. Uh, makes you feel good when you go out of town and you see all these kids oh, from yeah. Homerville playing. You Absolutely. Know. Uh, uh, Absolutely. Because everybody here has to, you know, we all take a part in raising, coaching them in little league, at high school and stuff, man. Uh, they're getting the starting lineups. We're fixing to play some baseball. Looks, looks like here to me they are. Uh, let's see. Pigler. Representing the big city of Maynard. See Miss Kara Goodman up upstairs uh, doing the announcing. She does a great job for the Clinch County High School. She's full of excitement. Yes, sir. Does a great job. You know, when she used to get you out there and dance at homecoming week, Tim. Yeah. So you got to be talented to do that. Yeah. Her and Lisa Connor is about the two best, I think, that's done that. <laughs> uh, you see, Kyle's going to be catching tonight for the Panthers. That's big Gabriel, that's Leon, baby boy. Take Kite is hitting 327. Man. And he has four home runs, 17 RBIs. So he is. Uh, that ain't he's, bad, he's is it? He's starting to figure it out. Huh. Starting to figure it out. So that, that's good. We're proud for him. I think they said they were uh, 18 and 2. Yeah. Man, you 18 know, and with 2 him, in a year. Tim and him at first base. Yeah. With his wingspan, I mean, he's got to be a dream first baseman. Oh, yeah, he is. You know. He is. And uh, he's uh, I don't know, he probably weighs 240 pounds now. Man, I was thinking 270. And well, then last I time I saw him on the holidays, yeah. dunk a basketball. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, yeah. he could have won the dunk contest at the NBA All-Star yeah. Games. Yeah. He couldn't jump like that when he was in high school well, two I years ago. I imagine a lot of folks <laughs> might take him as a tight end. Hey, oh, I, you think it, any position. All right, we'll step back when they. All right, everyone. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Haley, along here with my buddy Tim Carroll. And we are live here in Homerville, getting ready for some exciting Region 2A baseball, Tim. That's right. Let's go with defensively for the Panthers. Panthers are going to have on the mound Brady Register, number one. Catching is going to be Kyle Hendricks, number three. First base is going to be number 12, Gabe Mars. Second base is going to be number 11, Josh Pigler. Shortstop is going to be number 10, Landon Allen. Third base, Josh Griffiths. Number 15, left field is going to be Lane Palmer. He's number eight. Center field is going to be Patrick Kimple. And uh, in right field is going to be Darius Dorsey. Man, Brady, he is a sophomore. Is that right, Tim? Yeah, Brady is a sophomore. Man, I can tell you what, coming through the rec park, uh, his brother, B, right. that played Brady, was drugged to every game. B yeah. played – and I knew when that kid, <clears throat> excuse me, could walk, he would go to the rec park and he mm -hmm. would throw up a plastic Coca-Cola bottle yep. with a stick and hit it. 
mm-hmm. over and over. I told Brad then, I said, he's going to be the baseball player, and he is. He's going to be a good one now. The other night we brought in, we were playing Brooks, the other game I've done. We brought in late in the game, we brought in uh, um, Prince's brother, uh, uh, Eli. Uh, Eli, yeah. He's, he's looked really looked, good. Man, he's he going to be really a little bit good. bigger yeah, than Prince's. Yeah. His legs are a little longer. He's going to grow in that frame, and he, he looked really good. Yeah, man, we got some uh, young young uh, kids that's coming up. I think, uh, like I said, Eli, uh, Brent, look, we have seven seniors. Uh, y'all see them. Uh, Daniel will throw them up here all day, off and on. But, Tim, has Brady pitched any this year? Yeah, he's, he's pitched a good bit. Um, I think the other night he pitched some against Eccles. There's the seniors. Yeah, we got John Wilson. Tommy Montgomery, Gabe Morris, Josh Griffiths. Josh Pigler, Pigler Kyle Hendricks, and yeah. Kenneth Jefferson. There you go. Man, that's a good group. All of them great kids, man. Every one of them. Uh, all right, Boogie, here we go. All right, leading off is Cam Patterson, the left-hand hitter for takes first pitch. Man, he swings his hit ball it. toward the right center. Like that ball's going to fall for a base hit. Uh, did he? Did it fall? I thought he got to it. It says one out. We must have caught it. Yeah, man, he stretched out. Who's that second that? for the? That's Josh Pigler. Pigler, man, a great catch there. He had to yeah. stretch out to get that one, Tim. So the first man's retired on one pitch. Very efficient. Brock White, number five, or, or excuse me, third baseman, number eight, is going to bat second for the pa- Wilcox Patriots. Mm. Big curveball by Brady Register falls a little short. Yeah, man, it failed too, didn't it? He, yeah, good, good break to it. Yeah, good break to it. Looks like Wilcox brought a good, good crowd. I looked over there when yeah. I went to get their line up at the, uh, at the uh, fence over there, and they got a good crowd. They travel well. Yeah, man, they always have. And clinches. Our, our our folks are starting to come on in. Yeah, two and oh. Second ball was a little bit down and outside, so. White's ahead in the count, 2-0 to sophomore Brady Register on the mound. Good-looking pitch. That should be a strike. What are we setting now? It's 2-2. Uh, 2-1. Two 2-1. Two. Two 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 strike right down the upper part of the strike zone. Foul back out of play. It's going to even the count at 2-2. Two Man, it's good and cool. Tim, it was cold, and, man, it's warmed back up. Like yeah. I say, we got some weather coming in. It feels a little muggy today because, you, like I said, that weather's coming in from off the Gulf and through the lower part of the good-looking pitch. Oh, man, that ring was. Him up. He got him on that corner, Tim. Caught him looking for the second out. Good pitch by Brady, a good two-strike pitch. So, Brady uh, looking good to start with. Re- retired the first two Patriots. That's going to bring up number 10. The pitcher, Branson Owens. I talked to Leon last night on the way home. He said, man, you know, they got beat three to two, I think. That's uh, right. Uh, just couldn't hit the ball. Tim, they hit it, just couldn't get no runs. Big cut by Owens, comes up empty. Good looking pitch by Register. So he's ahead to count 0-1-1. Well. Oh. No, what did they do? We, we may have catcher interference. Oh. Only I can figure. I, they might. Did they put him on intentionally? Well, did? if you swing the bat and hits the catcher's glove, it's automatic. That, that's catcher's it's interference. The, that's the only I could figure because he didn't make contact with anything. That's called the Josh Lee rule. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so that's, and actually, he's credited with a single on that. So he's one for one. That's going to bring up number two, number five, Rhett Davis, who is the catcher. Curveball, big curveball, a little high. Good job, Kyle's going to spring up. He's waiting on him to steal. He, uh, the other night against Brooks, he was throwing them out right and left. I'm talking about he's it wasn't, got a cannon, even, it wasn't even close. Kyle's a great kid, man. Pitch on the way. Oh. On no, the I'm fixing to say one, that. One count. There's some of these umpires have a little bit of delayed strike zone that whether you could look at. That's, that's Ernie behind the plate. Still uh, not as delayed as uh, the no. old guy. What's his yeah. name, man? The great fella. I, I think he's he, still umpiring, Tim. Yeah. He's an 85, I think. There it is. Good, Good pitch. pitch. Swing and a miss. So, registers ahead by ball and two strikes to the Patriot catcher, Rhett Davis. Down at first, Branson Owens, pitcher. Uh, I didn't see him de- run for him. Usually, you get a, a courtesy runner for the pitcher. 
Unless he got in there, we didn't see the number. Man, it's just impressive how Brady is. He, which he's getting bigger, but man, just throwing right, like that. That's going to retire it right oh. there. Brady, Brady, uh, Redstrom comes up with two strikeouts here in the first inning, so the Patriots are held scoreless. We've played one half inning here in Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy, and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Clinch County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff's department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County, and go Panthers. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue. All right, Tim, we're back. Who All we right, got up? First, first pitch swinging by Josh Pigler. I think it's going to be a base hit. The left field it is. Man, and you were talking about it, Tim. You said he's been hitting the ball great this year. First pitch, uh, Branson Owens comes in with a fastball, and Josh Pigler greets him with a line drive single to left field. So Panthers in business. Second batter is going to be number 32, Darius Dorsey, your right fielder. Man, and Josh is representing the big city of Maynard, and I know his grandmother's watching up in North Carolina, I think, where she lives. She didn't miss a game last year. Snap throw to first. Man, Dorsey's thickened up too, Tim. Yeah. He's still got his speed. He Man, came I, in right field. I'm not sure how what he's – I tell you what, he does a great job bunting the ball, and it was hard to throw him out last year. He's just – Boy, he has. Curveball in the dirt. Uh -oh, they caught, They got Josh hung out to drive. Got down. Good job. Throw's going to be high, so Josh got down there. Man, a great job. Just a little high, Tim. Was Darius attempted to bunt and wasn't able to be successful, but Pigler goes to second. I so it did its job. Now, that's right. Coach Douglas Lapp will bunt him to third. Uh, and Dorsey's got to hold the record for being hit by a baseball here. He, he's been, <laughs> That's why he had to thicken up, I think, Tim. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's been popped several times. All right, Picker getting him a good lead, Tim. He was right, man, that was a pretty pitch there. Yeah, he takes that one, 1-1. One, one, maybe he gave him the take. I'm not real sure on that. Branson Owens is one of the mainstays for the Patriots. I think he's probably a junior. On the way, got Curve him. Ball. That was a good pitch. Got him. That's going to make a strikeout for the first inning for the Panthers. Going to bring up number three, Kyle Hendricks, your catcher. Man, Kyle's got He's a power hitter, too. He can uh, – I was out here a couple of weeks ago when they were practicing, man. Mm -hmm. He can – Take one deep at any time. And I'm sure, like you said, back in middle school, all these kids know one another. 
Pickler got Josh it. Josh was stealing third, and the, and uh, Kyle fouled it back. So He'll a lot of times they uh, no, they're going to let him stay, Tim. I uh, thought he made contact too. I thought he had to I go back. I heard a foul ball. Oh, he's over there. Not let's let's see what we're doing. Says one one. No, they're going to let him stay on third, Tim. I don't know All what right. the call was it sounded, there. It sounded to me like contact, but it I guess was. not. So. Big curveball by Branson. Owens a little, little downstairs. That's going to make it two and one, I believe. Panthers are 90 feet away from taking a one to nothing lead here. Runs a bit of premium tonight, more than likely. Oh, yeah. Good eye by Kyle. Little outside, you can tell that Owens is throwing hard. So I think it's uh, two and one. Now, Tim, when you are coach, are you calling every pitch out here when you face a hitter like that, or are you letting the uh, – Every coach does a little different. It's going to make it 3-1. Oh. Some people signal them in. You can look at – if you see, see the catcher glancing over at the dugout, he's get you – the coach is calling the signs in. He'll give them the sign to the catcher, and the catcher will give it to the pitcher. It's on the way. There's a good Ground cut. ball toward third. I believe it's going to be foul. That's going to even the count up at three and two, full count. It's going to be the payoff pitch here. And Man, we got to give a <clears> – <throat> excuse me, me and Tim was out Friday, and I think you filled in with Brad for us, Tim. Oh, another hard shot. Curve ball, he protects it, but fouls it off. It's going to remain full count. Right, I had to – my grandchildren had a birthday party Friday. Well, you can't so. miss them, can you? No. <laughs> They've got a new place in Valdosta. It's a trampoline air park. Boy, Ooh. I tell you what. Did you test them out? No. <laughs> you, you could You could just hear the, the cash register ringing because there was about right. 300 kids in there. Oh, man, they got cow. They chased the pitch. It's up in the strike zone. That's a good pitch, too. It's some heat the on that one, too. Yeah, second Yeah, Branson throws hard. That's going to bring up number eight, Lane Palmer. Palmer hit on run that against Brooks County. That man, he's a good hitter, too. You know, we yeah. got several kids that can knock it out through the lineup. Right. Palmer, man, he's thickened up from last year, Tim. Oh, pretty pitch. Big curveball yeah. for a strike. That's a hard-breaking curveball from uh, Owens. Owens looking to pitch out of this jam here in the first. Got a runner on third. I'm telling you. There it is. Ball's hit pretty good to center field. Up, up. Back. Tisdale makes the it. catch. So yeah. Panthers retired in the in the bottom of the first. So we played one complete here in Homerville and we're scoreless. And then a Lockheed Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know where? Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember. 
All right, Tim, we're back. Who we top, got? Top of the second. Brady Register's going to be facing. Is that Brady Tim? Register's going to be facing number eight, Desmond Tisdale, Man. a talented multi-sport athlete. I'm telling you what, he's look at to, that. I think he's going to Auburn on a football scholarship, yeah. isn't he? He's liable to get a lot of playing time next year, Tim. He's a, he's a good-looking kid. If Tresman Marshall comes up empty. And, I mean, I mean, him and Tresman look about the same. Now, Tresman's a lot bigger now, but when Tresman right. was a senior, they looked just alike. You know. What is he, about six foot, Tim? Yeah, I think six, six one, probably about 220. Man can jump. He dunk a basketball, dribble, uh, and just – a great football player and look he's playing center field that tells me right there that yeah. he's pretty quick so auburn's not going to recruit you i think everybody in the southeast was recruiting well, you'll keep up with him you'll see him play on saturdays next year oh good pitch by brady great job brady's brady's come out and got three strikeouts here in the first inning and a half inning in the third so Man. Tisdale goes down on strikes. That's going to bring up number three. Or excuse me, number six, Jordan Stevens, and he's your first baseman. If I'm Brady, I write that down. I struck Tisdale out. <laughs> yes, sir. That's two for tonight for Brady, isn't it? Three. three? Man, he's doing good. Great good pitch. Curveball. Man, that was a good one. But he's got that curveball in the zone tonight, and that's the key. If you, if you can throw a curveball for a strike, um, they can't just sit back and take it. Good spot, to a little outside dusk, even to count it 1-1 one, one here. Just Folks, you just tuned in, top of the second, no score. Wilcox hitting with one out. Nobody on. Brady Register on the mound, throwing to Kyle Hendricks in your picture. Oh, Ball's hit pretty good to left one. field. It's Lane Palmer's on the run. Oh, he got it, Tim. Great catch by Palmer. Palmer drags it in, so that's for the second out. So, Ugh. Stevens flies out to your left fielder for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up number 15, the right fielder, Lagan Luke. Man, Palmer was He's all a left the way hitter too. Yeah. against the fence. What a catch. Long run, long run. So, helping Brady out. So, we've got two outs in the second here. Seven man in the order's batting. Good pitch. Good looking pitch on the outside corner for strike one. You get a sophomore to come in and do things like Man. this, that's a shot in the arm that's for you, right. not only for this year, but the next two two after that. Another good looking pitch, fouled back by Luke, so Register quickly ahead, 0-2 here in the second, two well, outs. Tim, the words done got out. You can't walk up there and hold the bat. You're going to have yep. to swing it. He's going to make you He's swing it. He's been in the strike zone, hadn't thrown, but one or two pitches outside the strike zone. And, you know, uh, everybody in the park likes somebody to throw strikes, That's especially right. that man in blue back there. Now, yeah. <laughs> you, you make more money when they're throwing strikes. Well, they don't get paid by the hour. <laughs> Uh, that that pitch for a lot of folks, you might think that was a bad pitch, but it wasn't. Two strikes a lot of times, you want to throw the ball up in the strike zone because it's hard to hit, and he was just a little high. There it is. Look at that. Good looking curveball. And uh, so Brady continues the mastery of the curveball in the strikeout. It gives him one, two, three, four for tonight. So we played an inning and a half in Hungerville, no score. You're watching Back Road Sports on Creek Box TV. Camping World of Valdosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan-style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. 
All right, Tim, we're back. Who we got up in the bottom box? of the second, number 15, third baseman Josh Griff is facing Branson Owens. Fastball, good velocity, but it's up in the strike zone for ball one. No score here. Here in Homerville, bottom of the second. Nice warm night. Late. Oh, there's fly a big ball hit. hit toward left field. Man, back, back, back in at the here. He got it out. Man, what a hit by Griffiths. Griffiths leads off with a leadoff home run here in the top of the second. Mm. Put the Panthers on the board. I was just fitting to say, Tim, he's filled out a little bit from last year. He's a, hey, you can see Mama and Grandmama and all of them standing up, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, he'll probably get whatever he wants for supper I'm tonight. I'm telling you, it's a Dairy Queen night, isn't it? Well, I doubt that. <laughs> if you're in might, Homerville. <laughs> might be a steak from a steak from our huddle house or something. <laughs> Man, he got into that one, Tim. He did. He hit the ball up in there, and there's a little bit of breeze tonight, so I'm sure that didn't hurt any. But nevertheless, Panthers on the board. Uh, that's one thing you, you have when you get somebody that throws hard. All you got to do is make pretty solid contact, and uh, big things can happen. All right, here's Gabriel, man. Number 12, your first baseman, Gabe Morris. He can put Foul one out. Back. He sure can. He's got a lot, a lot of whip in that bat. Fouls it back. Last year we faced that one, we roughed him up pretty good. Oh, fly ball up back out of play. That's going to be a car hood somewhere back there. Hopefully not mine. Yeah, if they hit mine, that means they broke a record somewhere, Tim. I'm over here at the girls' softball field. <laughs> yeah, got to ping pong through them oak tree branches to get me. All right, good eye there by Gabriel. Tim, you're right. We got a good crowd here tonight. Yeah, they're still they coming in. Sure. It's still, still early. Oh, good looking curveball. Boy, that was a pretty pitch. That froze him there. Yeah. So Gabriel will go down on strikes, looking for the first out here in the second. That's going to bring up your DH, Freddie Lawfully, number seven. He's going to be batting for number 23, Patrick Kemple. And Kemple's in center field. He is a freshman. Kemple is, and he has come on and just took him a position. Tim, and you know you were the baseball player. You, there's a point of no return when you freeze on that curveball. Oh, yeah. It's too late. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> You just tip your hat and say, well, you got me on that one, partner. Uh, Freddie takes first pitch upstairs for ball one. Panthers with the early lead, one nothing on the oh, Freddie. off the handle, a little short shot. It's going to be an out. Got to the shortstop. Yeah. What's that, out number two? That's out number two. Going to bring up the pitcher, number one, Brady Register. All right, big Brady. He's having a great nine pitching. Let's see if he can get his bat to working like his pitching. He's going to be on fire. Look out. Big cut. Fouls it back out of play. Yeah, he's got a short, compact swing. He puts it in play most of the time. So he's probably going to get a curveball here. Yep. Oh, and it was. It was a pretty one, too, Tim. Might see another one like that. Another curveball, and might try to throw a fastball upstairs. You had the count, you got a lot to do. Oh, there he's going to chase tap it. Got it. Owens fields it, going to throw the first. Got him. In time. So Owens helps himself on the mound, but not before the Panthers were able to strike pay dirt with that home run by Josh Griffiths. So we played two here in Homerville. Clinch lead Wilcox County 1 0. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. 
We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's Professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. All right, Tim, who we got up for Wilcox? Number seven, Abe Stowe. No, I'm sorry, number two, Abe Stowe. He's your left fielder. Fastball up in the zone, pop up. Is it going to stay in play? Yeah, it went out behind the home plate. He fouls the first one off here in the top of the third. First pitch from Brady Register. What number is he in the lineup, Tim? Number seven. Okay, so we're not not through the lineup yet. Good Big pitch. curveball. Man, that was. Catches the corner of the strike zone, so Register's ahead 0-2. He's had a big breaking curveball all night long, just as the pitcher for Wilcox. Owens has had a big breaking curveball. Mm. There's that pitch upstairs trying to get him to bite, but he wouldn't. Difference in the game has been one uh, mi misplaced fastball yeah. by Brandon Owens, Branson Owens, and Josh Griffiths deposited out there in the left field for a home run. Oh, good job by Little Kyle. Outside. Evens it up at two and two. Kind of looked like it's foggy, but I guess that's the hamburger smoke. Yeah, it could be. Could be. All right. What we got here? Stove called timeout. Didn't like what was going on. Must maybe got a little hamburger smoke in his eyes. Might, might have been what it was, brother. We are here, what, top of the third, man. Top of the third, moving right along. Oh, pretty big, big. curveball caught the inside yeah. corner. It, it caught him too. It froze. Him. It froze. Stowe. He didn't know what to do. <laughs> How many is that for? for That's uh, five. Five. That's five man. out of five out of the uh, seven outs. Man, that ain't bad, is it, brother? No, I, I'm sure Coach Douglas <laughs> will take that. That's going to bring up number uh, four, second baseman Cam Coleman. Purdy caught that outside corner. I told you wrong, Alan. That was number eight, man. We're nine men in order now. Oh, okay. We'll go back to the top here in just a second. Upstairs, a little high. Even at 1-1. One, one. And he's pitching a great game. Probably the best game he's ever pitched. High school-wise. I've seen him pitch some good ones at the rec park. <laughs> oh. Big curveball. A little, little bit too much break on that. Caught the plate there and had a big high bounce back there toward the backstop. Well, Tim, it's about to get dark here in Homerville, brother. Well, next week it'll be a long time from dark. Oh, does the time change this weekend? This week. Man. A little high. 3-1. This is... This is the man you don't like to walk. His coaches will oh, I'm make him pull your hair out when you walk the nine, man, to get to the leadoff, man. Like they tell you, he's probably not batting ninth for, for no reason. And he got it, Tim. Good he job. Him, so. Wilcox. That's so the Cam, first walk tonight for Brady, isn't it? It is. He's able to coax a one-out walk. That's going to bring up Cam Patterson. He's your D.H., So now the second time through the lineup, it gets a little harder for the pitcher. Yeah, they've seen you one time. Now we'll see uh, see if they can figure things out. Or is that the first base runner? All been on one. Yeah. The base tonight for Wilcox. Well, no, remember the, uh, the first batter he got on. Didn't catch, he? No, the catcher got on with some kind of interference. Oh, that's right. The best I can tell, because he swung and missed, and they put him on first base. So. Oh, balls up. Kyle up. He's going uh, he to. Faked, he faked like he was going. Now he better be glad didn't he go. didn't. I think Kyle was up and ready on that one, Tim. So, Patterson ahead in the count. 2 and 0. Good shot there by the cameras. Daniel and Barron's working on. We got some new stuff we're trying tonight. Oh. Inside corner. Oh, he got it, too. I thought he wasn't going to give it to him. 
Two and one now. Still only one out here in the top of the third. Wilcox trailing one nothing, trying to get that run back down at first. We got Cam Coleman had a one out walk. Brady Register still on the mound for the Panthers. Pretty good looking pitch. He hung tough in there, fouled Cam it off. Cam Patterson gave it a good swing, but fouled it back over to Wilcox dugout, so it's evens the count at two and two. Well, I sure didn't know the time was changing this weekend, Tim. Yeah, I heard that on the radio this morning. Man. Be a lot of people late for church Sunday. Or early. I don't know which one. Is it early Big or late? Big curveball in the dirt. He's going to go to second. That was a tough one to, to uh, block. and Kyle had a hard time finding it. One out here, too, Tim. So, that makes uh, – Coleman at second. Cam Patterson hanging in there with a full count. Big out for Brady here. He needs to get That's the leadoff one. batter, too. So, uh, top of the order for the Patriots trying to get back in this thing. Oh. Ball hit down the right field line. Or excuse me, left field line. It's going to be foul. It's going to keep the count full. Man, he's making him burn some bitches on this one. He is oh, that. <coughs> now he's going to call time. It's about five minutes with this batter, it feels like, Tim. Yep. See the breeze blowing there. Landon Allen's jersey rustling in the wind. On the way. Ground ball hit toward first. Piglers. No, that's uh, Gabriel. Gabe Morris. Get the out. Oh, no. What happened? I'm not oh. sure if he feel it didn't flip to first or exactly what happened. He got the out, and I think he threw it back to the pitcher's mound. Oh, Tim. Or did they even give him the out? Yeah, they got two Yeah, two outs. That's exactly what happened. He got the out at first, and he went to throw it to the pitcher, and it rolled past the pitcher. Oh, that's got to hurt. That'll tie it up one to one. Yeah, that uh, one out, that walk will hurt you. And that Brock was the White. ninth batter, like that's you said, right. Tim. Number number eight, Brock White, your third baseman. Hit him with two outs, and the base is clean. Foul oh. straight back. Well, they was moving in the bleachers. I don't know who that was. He was trying to get up under them. Oh, man, that's – So, Wilcox is able to tie it up here in the third. That was kind of a manufactured run there with a ball in the dirt and in the air. Oh, no, nobody's on now. So. Right. Makes it one and one. Mm. To the Wilcox catcher. I want to remind everybody, me and Tim will be back Friday here at 6 as the Panthers host the Irwin County Indians. Little ball ball hit off the handle. Got it. Landon Allen comes up. Oh, it's got by Gabriel. Ball, ball to get was a little it, low, and he up. couldn't pick it. Now they have to throw the second. They got him. Great so recovery Clinch by is, Gabriel. Clinch is able to dodge that bullet on the bad throw. Gabriel Morris picks it up and throws down to shortstop. Shortstop for second baseman covering the bag, and uh, – White tried to get a little greedy. So he that's going to end the end the top of the third inning, but not before Wilcox scratches one out. It's going to even it at 1-1. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy, and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Clinch County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff's department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County and go Panthers. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. 
We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. And then along came Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box. I'm Alan Hanley. Tim had to go to the little boy's room, so I'm trying to read his writing here. We got, what was that, number 10 up for the Panthers? Let me find out who that is. And that's uh, Josh Pigler. We're at the top of the lineup, I think. Well, that's Josh or not, let me see. No, that is Landon Allen, excuse me. So one ball and two strikes on Allen. One to one game here in Homerville. Some great Region 2A baseball. Good eye by Landon. That'll get away from the catcher for Wilcox. And it's Owens pitching. We are here in the bottom of the third. Allen steps back into the box. Good pitch. That's going to get him out of there. So Allen will strike out. Mm. And that's going to bring uh, Pigler up, Josh Pigler, who scored the only run for the Panthers tonight. So he got on base. Representing the big city of Maynard, Georgia. First pitch on the way. Josh, man, he's Want it to lay out a bunt. They'll call a strike. Second pitch on the way. It'll take Bull 30 minutes to come back, Joy Lynn. He, <laughs> it's a long walk. I can't say nothing because I'm going to have to go next in it. <laughs> oh, there's Pigler. He'll foul that one away. He's trying to bunt it again. That tells me uh, Coach Lee knows he's got a little bit of speed behind him. So we have two strikes on Pigler. Good eye. One to one here in Homerville. All right, he'll make contact, Pickler will. So it hit high, and it's going to go foul. Right to the left field. Pickler making Owens throw some pitches here. Pickler steps back in. He's waiting. There he is. He'll hit that one straight up in the air. See if it's going to get out of here. It goes back. I think it'll go foul. All right, Tim. Man, where'd you go to Argyle? <laughs> hey, Allen struck out. I didn't know where to ride it, though. <laughs> we got Pigler up now. Right, let me cut you back on here. You got your breath? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Hey. Might not have to call 911. <laughs> it's a long walk, isn't it, brother? Pop up toward third. Third baseman's calling for it. And he, he got catch. it. <clears throat> he made him throw about 20 pitches, though, Tim. So Josh Pigler recorded that for the second out of the inning with fly ball to the third baseman. He's going to bring up Darius Dorsey. He struck out his last at bat, I think, he did. Tim. He did, he did. And it feels good outside, doesn't it? Yeah, that it? wind's Boy, laid that down. Yeah, it has. Pretty Curl pitch, ball. man. Oh, it was low, but he give it to him. Ernie, the umpire back there liked it. 
So Owens is ahead in the count. Owen one here, two outs in the third. Oh, good cut. Fastball in the outside corner. Dorsey fouls it straight back. You know, I talked to Coach Lee earlier this year. We had him on Sports Talk. And, man, he was bragging on Darius's hitting. He said he has sure enough stepped up this year. With well, bat. I knew last year he hit down in the order. He's hit number two. That's usually somebody who puts the ball in play for you. Mm, good cut, but he'll miss it. So he's uh he's had tough luck twice tonight. So we played three complete here in Wil here in Homerville, Clinch County. Wilcox tied at one one. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! All right, welcome back, folks, here in the top of the fourth. 1-1 one, one tie with Clinch County, Wilcox County, big Region 2 game here in Homerville. Um, Clinch got their run in the second on a home run by Josh Griffiths. Wilcox got theirs in the third on a misplayed ground ball. Well, here we are in the top of the fourth. Brady Register still on the mound, pitching to number, number 10, the pitcher for Wilcox County, Branson Owens. All right, Tim, just the first batter. That's it, first oh, pitch. Man. Brady struggled a little bit last inning, man. Well, second time through the order now. He opened up with that ninth, ninth walk to the ninth, man. That is pretty – oh, he didn't get it there. A little inside. And, it, and you're right, it started downhill when he put the ninth it batter on, on first and he made it around. Usually walks and errors come back to haunt you, especially when you walk to nine, man. Oh, curveball just caught the oh, corner. Man, he was I a count it, at one one. I it looked just like the last one, Tim, but I don't call him. I, I think the other one, the first one might have been a little bit higher. One one. Register pitching to his counterpart, the pitcher for Wilcox, Branson oh, Owens. And a little outside. Takes that pitch a little outside for two two and one. Brady's been pretty efficient tonight. He's had five strikeouts through three innings. A good pitch. Foul back, so even to count it, two and two. Brady's still throwing well. Now, Tim, uh, what's the pitch count that you have to get to? Well, they're, they... they're different levels. I think it's 45. If you throw more than 45, he could pitch again tomorrow if need be. No, I'm, that... I'm sorry. I think it's 30, and it's 45, takes a day rest. 60s, two days rest, and 80s, three days rest. You have to come out. Oh, Ground ball one. hit toward third. That's going to get down and be a base hit. Did the shortstop get it? Let's see here. I think we missed that one, Tim. I don't have anybody out, so he's no. on first base. Boy, Maybe in a ground ball that was, was cut off. So Owens is at first. We're going to uh, credit him with a base hit, I believe. So It was a good cut. It yeah. looked good. So Wilcox is in business. Lead off batter on. That's going to bring up number two, the catcher, Rhett Davis. I'm sorry, number five, the catcher, Rhett Davis. Big cut. Comes up empty. Man, I got to give her eight and under. I talked to AC a while ago, the rec director here in Homeville. Now, eight and under is playing for the GRP 
Final Four up in uh, Tiger, Georgia, in basketball. All right. That is 30 miles north of Helen, Georgia. They right. play Friday night at 8 o'clock. I didn't think you'd get 30 <laughs> miles north of Helen and still be, still it's, be in the uh, – It's right there on the Tennessee, North Carolina, and South Carolina line. <laughs> I didn't think they had enough level <clears throat> level, level dirt up there I to play basketball. I'm telling you, man, it's uh, – Might be like they're playing West Virginia. we got one foot on the hill, one foot – on flat ground trying to dribble. The boys eight and under, man, they were. Uh-oh. Ball got a little bit loose from Kyle, but Owens didn't try. Well, they'll play Friday at 8, and uh, win or lose, it'll determine what time Saturday. And, uh, they'll play till you lose a game. So. Well, they're going to have to leave tomorrow then to get up there. <laughs> they're going to leave Friday morning at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, I wow. think is what they said. Them little fellas won't sleep a wink Thursday. No, man, they're all excited. Big curveball. That was a good little pitch. outside. Great pitch by Brady. Make it two and one. He needs this out, Tim. Yeah, he needed White to chase or Davis to chase that one. He, he laid off of it. So Wilcox with the leadoff man on on the ground ball single by Branson Owens, a pitcher. Oh man, oh, hit down hit the right that. field line. It's oh, gonna it be went. fair. Did uh, Gabriel touch it? I'm not sure. I think it's going to be fair, though. I thought it went foul, Tim, but it, Gabriel might have touched, and it did. It went, no, he scored. It was a fair. You're right. I'm not sure. if he, We'll see if he walks back down here or not. Man, he flew from first to home. I'm yeah, believe foul it ball. foul. Yeah. Wow. Ball. Couldn't have been too far foul. Man, uh, Gabriel, now if he touches that, it's fair. Is that right, exactly Tim? That's exactly right. Good job of laying off out of the way, man. That was hit hard, wasn't it? It was. That was a good good pitch by Brady. He actually threw it by him. He swung late. Yeah, that was right an odd line. swing, Tim. Uh, like he had an axe in his hand was chopping wood. I think, what are they, are they still discussing whether it's foul or no, not? No, no. Unless, unless the, coach, the, um, the, the head coach talked to the umpire. umpire is uh, the guy and uh better call Saul he yeah. that's who he looks like that uh, boy that guy Duh. yeah <laughs> he's done a lot Ernie uh I can't remember what Ernie's last name is he's done he's done ball games for us for years he does girls softball too all right Brady trying to dig out of a hole here man snap throw to first Owen's back Man, I couldn't play baseball. I just wouldn't. I'd be over there praying, do not throw the ball back to first. Do not throw the ball to me. Pitch the ball. That would have caused some fight back when I was in school. Good pitch. Uh, ball. Davis fights it off, stays alive at 2-2. Two -two. Mm. Brady's getting up above about 40 now, isn't he, Tim? He's getting close. I'll check his pitch count here in a minute. He had 25 after the second, 23. Had 42 coming into this thing, so he's getting close to 50. That ball's oh, in the man. dirt. Oh, that's going to allow, that's gonna allow uh, Owens to scoop down to second. But he'll get the strike full count now, Tim. Uh, there's no outs here. That's right. Man. He's uh, he's right up borderline borderline 50. Got a full count to the uh, Wilcox catcher, Rhett Davis. Big Pretty curveball. pitch. That was a big no time No doubt pitch. about that. He was not looking for a curveball no. on three and two. Man, great job by Brady that Register. That might be the biggest strike out of the night so far. That's going to bring up. Tisdale. Number eight. Excuse me, number three. Brady. Center fielder Tisdale. Desmond Tisdale. Yeah, Brady got him last inning. Or his first at bat, rather. He had a tough time with the curveballs. There it is. Oh, I'm fixing to say. And you're right. I guess he, he don't like the curveballs, Tim. But if you ever can make contact with one, they say you can take it far. Yep. I'm going to see another one. Nope. A little low. Good job by Kyle, man. Working hard behind the plate. 1-1 one, one here in the top of the fourth. 1-1 one, one game. Region 2 action. Homerville, Clinch County. Hosting the Wilcox County Patriots. 
Foul straight back by Tisdale. The register right-hander for the Panthers as they hit the ball in two strikes. He's tied up in a pretty good game with the man on second base, Branson Owens, a pitcher for the Patriots. Yeah, Panthers have played pretty good defense, had an error to give up a run, right. Tim. Oh, Brady. Foul back out of play again. So it was going to be outside. Tis, he got him to chase it, though. Tisdale hanging tough. Might see a breaking pitch here, Allen. I tell you what, he can swing that back quick, yeah. Tim. There's some speed in it. Got to be careful with a athlete like that at the plate. Oh, That's man, Brady. Oh. A little, bit, little high. Tim, Shot I thought over, he so had him, son. He, he would have if he was down a little bit, but broke a little bit high, broke over the top of his and head. He, and Tisdale just froze. He knew it was, I mean, he just. Make it 2-2. Two, two. Wouldn't be surprised if he didn't see another one here. I thought he had him there. It was. It was just a hair high. I think you're right, Tim. Oh, same exact pitch, the same place. Sometimes that's a sign the pitcher might be getting a little bit fatigued. He's throwing two or three curveballs up high. Three and two. Second it's batter in a row. Huge, huge, huge pitch here. But the go-ahead run on second. A dangerous hitter in the plate. And Desmond Tisdale, center fielder for the Wilcox County Patriots. Another full count, Tim. Got him. No, he fouled it back. No, did he get a piece of it? Man. Fouled it back. He's throwing a couple three-two curveballs. He froze uh, froze the catcher on the last time on three-two curveball. This time he. Tisdale tried to come back. Tisdale was able to fight it off. So, still got a full count. Oh man, he's going a little bit outside. Off. Just missed. So that's going to put. I mean, just runner on first with a Tim. one out walk. Wouldn't be surprised if you didn't see Coach Douglas come to the mound here shortly. Well, we're sitting here. I hadn't heard nobody warming up yet, Tim. Uh, Jordan Stevens, number six, your first baseman, batting next one out here. It's a middle part of the game sometimes is where it gets away from you. Fourth, yeah. fifth, sixth inning. And Brady had the last two batters, a full count. So, I mean, Swing and a miss. Easy to struck them out. They're going to move on him, Tim, well, go to third ball, and second. Swing and a miss. Ball must have got by Brad. I mean, Kyle, Kyle might have got crossed up. Looked like maybe he was crossed up. But nevertheless, swing and a miss. The ball gets by by uh, Hendricks. That's going to move the runners up to second and third. Wilcox 90 feet away from taking a two-to-one lead. Oh, he's going to call time right at the last second. That's got to be aggravating as a pitcher, Tim. Sitting there and they call time. Good pitch. Curve ball. Going to be a strike. That's going to make it 0-2. This will be another huge batter here if he can get an out here with two outs. Make, the, make it a little bit tougher for Patriots to score. See if he sees another curve ball here. Sometimes you're a little bit hesitant to call many with a runner on third. Cause ball gets in the dirt. It gives them a run. Oh, a little inside. Man, it was inside. Big too. break, but it's inside. Ball and two strikes. That would have had me eating the dirt there, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kept me from playing baseball. Bridges, <laughs> hey. Sometimes they come back with a high fastball. They throw a couple breaking pitches, hoping he'll hoping he'll bite on it. Ground ball hit. It's gonna score a run. Did Brady he get him out at first. Flipped. He scooped it up. He flips the first for the second out, but that's going to score a run. So, mm. two to one now. Stevens did his job as Owens comes in on the ground out. That's going to move Tisdale to third, just like they drew it up. Tim. And that's going to bring up number fifteen, your right fielder, Legan Luke. be honest with you, I don't know that oh, ball's hit man. toward the left field. That's going to get down, Tim, for a hit. It That'll does. score another so one. That's going to make it 3-1. So 
I uh, mean, he comes in and does his job. It was hit right down the line. It got down right between the third baseman and a left fielder. So that uh, makes it 3-1 here in the fourth. And uh, that's going to bring up number two, left fielder Abe Stowe. And them two out runs kill you, don't they, Tim? Yeah. Ground ball hit towards short. Be a hard throw, long throw for Landon. Landon got Landon. him. He got Good him. Good job by Gabriel. Did he hold on? Yeah, he, he did. did. So that's a big out. Man, what a way. Big play by shortstop Landon Allen. That long throw across the diamond. Man. It recorded the third out, but not before. Wilcox County scratches out for two runs. So we played three and a half going into the bottom of the fourth. Wilcox County leading Clinch County three to one. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan-style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for the... All right, Tim, who we got up? Kyle Hendricks leading off the bottom of the fourth. Takes a curveball a little bit inside from Branson Owens. Wilcox is able to get two in their half of the fourth to take a 3-1 lead. Man, Owens is doing a great job. He's given up one run, Tim. Uh, two base runners, I think, for the Panthers. That's about it. A little high. He's behind 2-0, and oh, so we'll see. He has the same difficulties that Register did here in his half of the fourth. Clinch in the middle of their lineup. Oh, good cut by Kyle. Pretty good velocity there from Owens. Kyle with a big cut, and he comes up empty, so it makes it 2-1. and one. Oh, man. Tried to throw a curveball. It was inside. It makes it 3-1. So, if you if you put Kyle on, that's almost a sure double. Yeah, because now you're talking about some he speed. He can Kyle pick can him up and fly. put him down. As uh, Sam says, he gets that speed from him. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe when the dinner bell rings. <laughs> yeah. All right. Unless, Be ben, unless Benny, Benny, Benny's, Benny's, Benny's chasing yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Sam can outrun Benny to the dinner bell. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he get? Yeah, I see. Outside corner is going to make it three times. Not a bad pitch to take, though. That ball's borderline, so that makes it full count. Full count. In the f nobody out here in the top of the bottom of the fourth. Yeah. Pretty. Got him. Yeah, he got him. I mean, that was a pretty pitch. Yeah. Kyle, Kyle, I think yeah. Kyle might have been looking for a, a different kind of pitch, but nevertheless, that's leadoff batter strikes out here in the fourth, and that's. Kyle's had some tough luck tonight at the plate. That's going to bring up Lane Palmer, who is your left fielder. He's number four. Made a great catch back in the second inning against the Ran fence. all the way across the foul line to the fence. Man, a big cut. cut. Looks like uh, maybe uh, Owens' velocity might have picked yeah, up a little I'm bit. I'm telling you. He's a big old kid, too, now. And he's throwing harder the longer we go, Tim, it looks big like. Big old strapping kid. Oh, Fouled out of place. He's quickly hit 0-2. That's where you like to be, isn't it? Yep. See if he can, if he decides to spin one up here and try to 
fool Lane. Or if, now, if he makes a mistake, Lane can uh, hit it a pretty good ways, too. Uh oh. oh. And that one there, he tried to overthrow just a little bit. Yeah. If they're playing cricket, it would have been a good pitch. You, have to, you want to yeah. hop it to the plate, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Hard to hit with them little sticks. Like yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of people watch that, though. You can catch a cricket game a little about inside, 3 o'clock in the two. morning yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, over in India somewhere. Yeah. We got a lot of viewers in India, man, a pile of them. We appreciate them tuning in to Creek Box. Y'all give us a shout. Daniel's got to put the number up so y'all can give us a shout out, man. Yeah, been kind of quiet. You had that yeah. uh -oh. fastball up in the zone, and uh, Palmer chases it, comes up empty. So that's back to back strikeouts for uh, Owens here in the bottom of the fourth. That gives him one, two, three, four, five, seven strikeouts through four innings for Branson Owens, big right hander for Patriots. Here's so we got two outs, and here comes the, the hot bat of the night, number 15, Josh Griffiths. Your third baseman had a long home run back in the second. Owen's going to be a little more careful with him I this time. I you will. Last time he started him off with a fastball, and he jumped on it. Pitched the curveball a little low. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Nobody on. Oh, good cut. Good pitch. It was a good pitch. A lot of velocity on that one. It's going to even it a 1-1. One -one. We're already in the fourth, Tim. We're running out of time. The Panthers are. Good pitch. On the corner. Ball and two strikes. And I'm like you, Owen's throwing harder the longer we go, man. Yeah, looks like momentum has shifted toward the Patriots at this point. Oh, did he get him? He went. They're going to throw down the first, and they got him, Tim. So Owens comes out and strikes out the side here in the fourth after taking the lead. So we played four complete here in Homerville, Wilcox. With a three to one lead. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912 487 2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. All right, Tim, what we got going on this inning? Top of the fifth, Cam Coleman, second baseman, number four, leading off. He started the, the initial rally for the Patriots back in the third with a walk, one out walk. <laughs> Scored the first run, Swing didn't Swing and a miss. So register comes out ahead. And you said Brady's sitting around 50 pitches now, Tim? Six, middle 60s. So oh. he's, he's, the, he's committed now. Yeah, I mean, if he, he's going to have a hard time pitching Friday. For oh, many more good, good pitch. pitch there. Quickly ahead, 0-2. The Patriots second baseman. He's going to throw it up in the zone a little bit. Up. I'm sure the last inning was probably his busiest inning. He got up there, yeah, two th batters, went to full count. He threw a good many pitches that inning. Three to one, Panthers going to start putting the bat on the ball here, Tim. 
A little bit inside. Gonna make it two and two. Brady does a great job with control, Tim. He can put it inside. You know, uh, uh, it's just impressive to me the way. There it is. Brown Good ball pitch. hit up in the middle. Shortstop landing down and fielding it. Throws the first. Got him. In time. Good job by so, Gabriel. So the leadoff batters are tired. Six to three, shortstop to first. That's Cam Coleman down with one out. Top of the order for the Patriots. The DH, number one, Cam Patterson. I think he got on. What did he do his last at bat? Um, he lined out in the first and, and grounded out um, in the second or in the third. Oh, boy, good cut. Foul back out of play. Uh, register ahead. Early, 0-1, oh one. one strike. And what did you say, Wilcox in the region? They're undefeated in the region play? They're 5-0. and oh, They're undefeated. I'm yeah. not sure exactly who they played. but Ground ball hit, hit towards short. He can run. Now you better hurry. Yep. You ain't got time with this one. Did he get him? He got, got him. him. Great Good. job. It was a fine play by Landon Allen. Man, and Gabriel scooped it up right there at the end. Man, that was Patterson, close, though, Tim. Patterson can run, so he got two out. First two batters out quickly. For the Patriots, that's going to bring up Brock White, third baseman, number eight. Yeah, Landon Allen had to be extremely quick with that yeah. because Patterson can pick him up and put him down. That's one of them plays you don't blink till after the play. That's right. You <laughs> yeah. have time to check it, Good check it out. Good pitch by Brady. Heading the count with a first pitch curveball strike. Got him again, boy. That was pretty good cut. Though. Foul contact. back, make it no balls and two strikes. I'm going to step back and take a little time. Looks like Brady's getting a second win here in this inning, Tim. He was a little more in control than he did the last half of the inning. Good pitch. Got Swung him. Swung and missed. Great job so by that's going to strike out Brock White for the third out of the inning. So we played four and a half here in Homerville. Wilcox still holding the three-to-one lead. Man, that'll give us an opportunity to give a shout-out to all our sponsors here in Homerville. Man, I want to remind everybody that uh, you can watch the game on YouTube. Uh, man, and we want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, man, for notifications. We can send out what time the Panthers play or anybody that we show in is Region 2 Now, is there any charge for that or is that free? No, no, that's free. YouTube, man, don't cost you nothing. And we and the reason it is, we got to thank Popeyes and Dairy Queen, Lutz Brown, Pigler Manley, Lee Engineering, Homerville Jewelers, Mike Golf Carts, Walker Jones Nissan. If you go over to Walker Jones and mention Creek Box, you get $500 off your vehicle so you can't beat that deal same thing at camping camping world of Valosta. you go over there and mention creek box five hundred dollars off the purchase for new camper burt cpa jerry j's hog and bones huey's one-stop pizza and wings you can call them at 912-487-2338 and man they'll have that pizza ready within 15 minutes uh we also have heritage bank and tom kennedy for sheriff those are our sponsors man and uh Tim, they're the ones that make it happen here on Creek Box. That's right. Without them, none of this would be possible. So, folks, don't forget, patronize them. Let them know that you that you saw their advertisement, heard their name mentioned on on the Creek Box. And yeah, man, I got to let you know, Tim, we did the basketball tournament, man, and we had 21,000 views in wow. 28 days. Wow. For that one weekend Region 2A tournament. That's pretty impressive. It sure there. is. All right, here we are on the bottom of the fifth. Leading off for the Panthers is going to be number 12 first baseman, Gabe Mars. Oh, we Big got cut hard toward hit. right field. See going what's going to happen here. Oh, we Right fielder it. makes the catch. The leadoff batter in the fifth is retired on a fly ball to right field. Owens coaxes Gabe Mars into flying out to right field. So Man. that's going to bring up the DH, number seven, Freddie Loffley. And again, he's hitting for number 23, Patrick Kemple, and Kemple's in center field. Tim, it sounded like it was going out of here. <laughs> That's usually how it happens. It had made a good, good. sound, but it was. Uh... 
Mm, good pitch. A lot of velocity. Freddie came up a little empty on that one. Freddie's just a sophomore. Thank you. That's Nick. right. Great baseball player. Another part of that Hendricks That's bunch. That's right. Him and Kyle are cousins. Curveball. Man, there's been. 0 oh, and 2. I think a Hendricks on the Clinch County High School football, baseball, basketball team for the, what, the last 20 years? It's been 30 a while. Years. It's been a while. <laughs> Mm, good pitching. Got Owens, him, Owens makes quick work of Freddie Lawfully for the second out in the inning. That's going to bring up number one, Brady Register, your pitcher. I think that's uh count strike out there for Owens. One, two, three, four, five, six, that was three pitches, too. Nine strikeouts, if I'm counting right. One, two, three, four, five, Nine strikeouts for Man. Owens through five innings. And he didn't throw but three pitches. A lot of velocity right one. there. He can really rear back and bring it when he gets ready. You know, he started off kind of slow, it looked like, Tim, but, man, the last three, four innings, he's – Good curveball. He's throwing that thing. He's ahead of registered 0-2 very quickly. Not very many pitches this inning. Oh, did he get him? Oh, boy, he thought he had him. He did. That was a great cur curveball. Must have just been off the plate. Mm. Ball and two strikes to register. Trying to get something started here with two outs in the fifth. Panthers trailing 3-1. There he goes, Brady. He'll hit Ground it. ball hit toward first. First Man, baseman picks it up, steps on the bag, and Brady's retired for the third out of the inning. So we played five complete here in Homerville. Big region two game with Wilcox leading 3-1. to one. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy, and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Clinch County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff's department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County, and go Panthers. You're watching Back Road Sports on Creekbox TV. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. And then along came Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Life. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley along with my buddy Tim Carroll. We got Daniel and Mr. Berry and working the computers, and David's reading the paper. Yeah. <laughs> our stat man's getting yeah. all the information. <laughs> all right, leading off for the Patriots is number 10, Branson Owens. Pitcher who's uh, had a big night, struck out nine so far. And it's three to one, Tim. The Panthers going to. In the six, getting late now. Yeah, man. Getting late. Got to keep it at this co this margin if they want to have a chance. Can't let them stretch it out any. Brady had a good inning last inning. Uh, recovered from the inning before. He threw a lot of pitches the inning before. Right. Last time this part of the order came up is when they were able to get two runs in back in the fourth. Good pitch. Big cut. That was. Looked like, well, that's cut. I was just trying to make it four to one. I'm telling you. He got his money's worth on that one. I want to remind everybody, me and Tim will be back Friday afternoon here at 555. Big Region 2A. That's right. Matchup. Rivalry. Fouled out of play. Uh, Tim, I don't think. Well, when was the but last the, time the Panthers beat Irwin? Irwin County Indians. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? 
last couple of years they haven't. I know over in Earl when we come close, man, it's right. been one-point games, extra innings. Uh, always a great game. <coughs> Panthers just want to get a win tonight here at Wilcox first. Good pitch. Swing by and Brady. a miss. So Owens goes down on strikes for the first out of the inning. So Brady's still throwing hard. Let's see how it is for Brady. One, two, three, four, ten. five, six, eight for him. Eight for him. Man. Owens has got nine, and Brady's got eight. One out here in the in the sixth. That's going to have uh, Rhett Davis, your catcher, number five, coming up. And, Tim, really, I mean, how many runs have been scored? You got Griffiths, the home run, but other than that, is, was it the errors? The, they well, they, they had a couple hits at him, but there was a pass ball involved. It led with a, a walk, a walk I think. Walk, yeah, it yeah. started with the walk. So, Good pitch. Kyle done a great job to hold it there and give him a good look. That's going to make it one and one on Davis, the big catcher. Both pitchers have done a good job. Oh. Brady's only given up four hits, I believe, and Owens has given up two. When you see two good pitchers, oh, that's not uncommon. You get a pitcher dueling. Usually miscues and walks are the difference, and that's what's happened tonight. There's Brown one. ball hit up in the middle. Landon Allen's going to field it. Get it up. Get Third it up. first. So he retires the catcher. Good job by Gabriel Morris. Catch. Landon's. Landon Allen with a good throw. He scooped up two or three of them tonight, Tim. So that's going to make it uh, two outs here in the sixth, and that's going to bring up Tisdale. The center fielder, number three, Desmond Tisdale. You see Mike behind the plate? That's Mike off of you. better call Saul. Here comes Lee. He's going to talk to Douglas him. going to do what he's going to have to say here. Well, Tim, he's doing good. Is he just getting to a point where Lee's – Say, man, we want to pull you out. Or Well, two outs in the six, nothing going on. I'm not really sure what he's talking about there. Saying, let's get this one and score some runs and call it a night. That's what he's saying. Coach Lee, man, I tell you what, these kids love him. He does a great job. Love you. He's got him, a good report man. with him. Yeah, I'm a, telling you. I've coached with a lot of folks. And he's as he's fun, fun a fun as good a solid coach, man. but also a fun coach. You have a good time out there. The kids do too. Hey, if you can't get along with Coach Lee, something's wrong with you. That is exactly right. Coach Lee might by Foul straight back. Reminded him that, look, this is a 220-pound kid, you know. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> I don't want to put any pressure on him. This is yeah. SEC linebacker yeah. here. <laughs> That's right. You might have said, now, if that ball's hit up the first baseline, you stay yeah. out of the way now. That's right. The wind will knock him down going by him. Fouled out of play, so it's quickly 0-2. Miss Bambi making it back. She's been to the concession stand. You know she's happy tonight. That grandson knocked one to the tennis courts. Oh, there's a foul hard hit. Toward third, it's foul. Brady's got him where he wants him. Oh and two still to Tisdale, two outs here in the sixth, clinch with that three to one lead. Brady Redstrom going the whole way for the Panthers. Oh, good. He gets job, him to chase man. a high Got fastball, him. so that's gonna record the third out of the inning and strikeout number nine for Brady Register. So we played five and a half here in Homerville with Wilcox with a three to one lead. Mike's golf carts and power sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. 
The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Welcome back, everybody. Here we are in the bottom of the sixth. Clinch County trailing three to one. We're going to have a leadoff batter for the Panthers. It's going to be number 10, Landon Allen. He's your shortstop. Clinch got to get something going here. I'm telling you, and it's got to be now, Tim. He might be taking a strike. A lot of times you'll take a strike just to put some pressure on the pitcher. Who we got batting? Now, Tim. Landon. Landon. Landon, they'll be at the top of the order. So, if Clinch is going to do it, this is the, good, the best thing to do it. That's right, man. Good pitch by Owens. 1 1. Look like maybe they're taking a pitch. So, it's 1 1. We'll see what see what uh, Coach Douglas has got in mind. He's got to get something going offensively because, uh, other than that long home run by Josh Griffiths, it's been been few and far between. Landon's made Two three or one. four great he plays in short tonight. He has, he has. Ransom Owens only giving up a couple hits, struck out nine to this point. Oh, that's ball a good hit down shot. the right field line. Man. It's just going to be foul over here toward the trailer. Alan. I'm waiting for it to hit. Yeah. David's outside. Maybe check on him, Daniel. Make sure it didn't knock him out. <laughs> hey, that was a hard shot there. If it had been about 20 feet inside, just a yeah. little ball bit. Yeah, it over the fence. A, foul. So it was. Good hack, but it was just too far foul. So that makes it 2 2 here on the leadoff batter in the sixth. It's desperately needing to get something going offensively here to stay in this one. Foul back out of play. Good job by Landon to hang tough. He's hanging him. tough, he sure is. Need him to get on base to get to the top of the order, see if we can get things going. I tell you what, it's a perfect night for baseball, it is, too. It, sure it is, is cool, not cold. The wind's laid down. I think it's a perfect night for the Skeeters, too. Yeah. Ground ball, slow roller hit the third. Third baseman comes up with a long throw. He's going to go, and they got him. Got him in time. Clutch play by the third baseman for the, pretty throw. for the Patriots. So, Landon Allen is retired on the throw out by the third baseman for the leadoff out in the sixth inning. That was a fine play by... Number five, Brock White for the Patriots. That's going to bring up top of the order. That's Number Pigler. 11, Josh Pigler, your second baseman. Representing the big city of Maynard. He, man, does a great job making contact, Tim, and the Panthers need some contact right now. Yep, this the – need some one-out lightning here to get rolling. He led off with a solid base hit, the first pitch he of did. the game. He surely did. Good cut. I'll tell you what, Owens is throwing that ball, Tim. He looks, still looks pretty strong. Hasn't shown any sign of any kind of fatigue. Oh, man. A little bit upstairs, curveball. Josh lays off it. Evens the count at 1-1. One one. Still got a good crowd there. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Great cut. He, he was just... a little, little – I think he thought it might have been a breaking pitch, but yeah. it turned out to be – Something a little different. So he's down. He's in the hole. The ball or two strikes. One out in the bottom of the sixth. Trailers, Panthers trailing by two. Oh, good job to hold up on that sure one. Sure was. Tim. That was a good two strike. A good that two was. strike pitch by <laughs> Owens. I'd have swung at that one three times. Good shot of Pickler. Mike gonna clean the plate off. Yeah, Mr. Ernie. A lot of times you'll see the umpire do that if he feels like a foul tip. Hit the catcher in any way. Just kind of give him a minute to get his bearings. 2-2 Two -two offering. Oh, foul job. back He's... out of play. Good job staying alive by Pigler. Well, Davids made it in. We thought you might have got hit by that foul ball. How close was it to the trailer? Way up there? 
It looked like it was hit hard. Oh, man. 2-2, two, two, high, high hard fastball. There was some heat on that one, Tim. So that makes Pigler down on strikes. That's strikeout number 10 for Mr. Owens. Whew. Two outs and six. That brings up Darius Dorsey. Tim, when you're a coach, you want your pitcher to get the double-digit strikeouts. I mean, that's all you can ask for, isn't it? Well, it only takes 21 outs. You know, more you strike out, less <laughs> chances right. you got to make you an know, error. That's, that's something about baseball. It's all math. That's it. <laughs> Any way you call it. <laughs> we had a little bill. That's going to be a hard pitch to felt ball to field. Dorsey. Anson. Oh, did he oh my him. goodness. What a play. What a Boy, play by Branson Owens. Oh, I'm not man, sure about I that one, but it went, went Irwin County's or Wilcox County's way on a big, fine play by Branson Owens to record Dorsey for the third out. So we played six complete in Homerville. Wilcox still holding on that 3 1 lead. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan-style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion. All right, Boogie, we're back. Here in the seventh. Clinch looking to hold the Patriots where they're at. It's uh, number six, first baseman Jordan Stevens leading off. Takes a curveball in the dirt from Brady Register. Going to find pitchers duel here tonight. I'm telling you, Brady. Between, between Brady, Brady Register and uh, Branson Owens. Owens. And then, you know, Brady's just a sophomore. There's a lot of these games in the future for Brady. Right. Ten, ten strikeouts for Owens, I think nine for Brady. Panthers just, they've got to hold them here and get some bat, some uh, bats put on the ball. Fly ball back out of play. We'll even up one and one. Well, now, Tim, with the Panthers playing again Friday, can Brady pitch any Friday, or will he be done after tonight? I think he'd have to have four days rest. So okay. I, I don't think he they could uh, they could use him Friday. But Good Coach Doug, Coach Douglas has still got Josh and uh, oh yeah, Josh and Josh. We got you know we we, we got a lot of depth at pitching with the experience. Mm -hmm. You got Gabriel that pitches, mm -hmm. uh, Josh and uh, Griffiths, and uh, I even think Avery pitches some. Freddie does. Freddie? Yeah, Freddie. Freddie, I'm Freddie sorry. Freddie probably threw a little bit yesterday. Swing and a miss. Did he get, yeah, he struck him out. Struck him out. So that's number 10 for Brady. He's at double digits. It's going to bring up Legan Luke, number 15, your right fielder. He had a base hit the last time up and that two-run inning back in the fifth or fourth. Oh, there's Ball's a good hit cut. Towards center field. That and ball's going to fall. Down. It is. It'll fall down. Falls for base hit. Soft single to center field, but that's the second hit for Luke. 
So the Patriots one out. Base runner on. That's going to bring up Abe Stowe, number two. He's your left fielder. What what batter is that, Tim? Number eight in the order. Number eight. Man, Wilcox, we're going to get over what about 8.30. That's a pretty good ride to get to Wilcox. Yeah. About two hours I got to eat, too. So yeah. you're talking about 11 o'clock. And have school. But, in then the again, morning. sometimes they may work that deal where they eat, eat the concession stands ready, ready for them. Ball's oh, hit the left field. That ball's going to fall. Is it fair? I think it is foul. Man, yeah, that was a good thing. It was placed right there. A lot of times, if teams with a long ride like this, they'll have some food, work out a deal. That's we right. eat out of their concession stand, eat out of ours. Because when you go to Wilcox County, there's not a whole lot of um, no. variety. To eat up here, it's, it's 30 miles back to uh, to uh, Fitzgerald. So, and they may not just you know that's up that's just purely up to the coach of their right. side. Snap throw by Brady. All rolls away from Gabe, but Luke not able to move. I see Wilcox is uh, warming up another pitcher, Tim, over there on their side. So. Uh, I wouldn't – I mean, I don't know where he's at in the pitch count, but I'd leave him in. I'd leave Owens in for that last inning. Good job by Kyle. That ball was off, that the, was. off the plate. That could easily have been a pass ball. So, it's one and one here to the eighth man in the order for the Patriots. Clinch trailing three to one, top of the seven, trying to keep it at that, that deficit so they can have a shot to come back here in the, their half of the seventh. Man, and that's one thing Brady, I know Kyle's ex glad. That Brady, Kyle hadn't had to chase a lot of pitches from Brady. Fly ball. Oh. Short stop going back. He makes the catch for the second out of the inning, so. Big out. So, Register's able to get Stowe to pop up the short. That's going to bring up Cam Coleman, number four, the second baseman. He scored the first run for the Patriots. He did. He started things off back in the second with a third with a walk, went out walk, and came all the way around the. Even the score. You know, you look back, Tim, at three to one game, you got to say, man, we played pretty good defense, just could not hit the ball. That's right. Of course, you're facing a pretty good pitcher now. That's he's, right. That's right. He's one of the top ones in the region for sure. And he's, he's been – this is third year as a starter, so he's well seasoned. Man, you look a lot back, of experience. Last three games, the Panthers have scored four runs in three games. That's uh, a little upstairs makes it two and zero. I'm sure Coach Lee will let them know about that tonight. Well, you know, that's sometimes sometimes that's just you go through a little. That's right, dips and that's and how baseball is. It, it comes is, in streaks. It is. Oh, it, good job by bounce Kyle. Away. That's going to allow. He's liable to go to third. Ten. Nope. Second. It was the second, so but it's three and zero to the number nine hitter, and that's gonna put Patterson possibly back at the top of the order with two men on. Panthers need one out. Same thing happened back in the second; they had two outs, I think, when he uh, took the walk and come around to score to tie it up. Good pitch by Brady, right down the middle. Brady comes back, and makes it three one. Needs to get this batter. Got him outside corner. Boy, that was close, wasn't it, Tim? It was a good job, but uh, <laughs> Coleman's trying to work his way on any way he can. Full count. Two outs here in the seventh. Big pitch here for Brady. Got him. Took him out. Great number job. 11 for Brady. Man, that was – he had three balls, didn't he, Tim? Had three balls and come back to get him. So, here we go to the bottom of the seventh. Clinch with their back against the wall. Trailing three to one. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville.
Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. All right, Tim, we're here. This is it, the one we've been looking for, brother. Bottom of the seventh, Panthers in the meat of the order. Kyle Hendricks, Lane Palmer, Josh <laughs> Griffiths. Well, we got what your Panthers are right where they want to be, just uh, two runs down. Owen's still in the game. They was warming up the bullpen a while ago, but they're going to leave him in, Tim. I don't blame them, do you? Well, they got somebody ready just in case, what they're doing. Kyle's due. He struck out twice, hasn't he? We just need to get the leadoff man on. Or I say the Panthers need to get the leadoff man on. Get the leadoff man on, your chances of a, a big inning are much, much That's right. better. Good pitch, man. Good-looking fastball from Owen's there just to open up the inning. Cows with a good cut. He's just trying to make contact. Good eye. Wow, he's still got good velocity, Alan. Yeah, I think he's coming through there. That's, yeah, he uh, hadn't lost none. That's a different pitcher, Alan. Oh, is it? Why well, I thought I'd, I'd. That's number six. He's a little bit taller than Owens. You're that's right. Six. Number six, isn't it? Yep, that's number six. All right, that's the the the, the shortstop was DHing for him to start the game, so that's that is uh that's the uh, you find out who that is. You're right. He's taller than Owens. Oh, uh, oh, where's Cal? Fly hit ball hit up in the air. Center field, high high. The camp under it. Tisdale with uh, the catch. So. Uh, that out means number that one. Kyle Hendricks is recorded on a fly out to center field. Yeah. Uh, for the first out. Owens is at third now, I think, Tim. He's number eight. And that is bringing it. Who's batting now? We got a. Is that eight? Uh, That's number six. That's Jordan Stevens who was playing first. Who's batting for Clint? Number that's two. A, we got a pinch hitter, possibly. Yeah, that's uh, Jefferson, isn't it? Looks like it. Jefferson's hitting for uh, Palmer. Yeah, you're right. That's 1-1. One, one, so. Man, I, 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 I was trying to change things up a little bit here, see if we can get something to happen. Pretty pitch. Yeah. Owens had pitched a great game. I'm sure he yeah, this, he was wanting to finish it. But this kid here's throwing might be a little harder than yeah. Owens. Yeah, he's a little bit taller too. Tim, he is that now. Good pitch. Evens it at two two. Panthers down to the last two outs here in the seventh, trailing three one in this key Region Two A baseball matchup. On the way. Yep. Got him, no man. doubt about that one. Pretty. That might be a better-looking curveball than Owens had. I'm telling you. Two outs here. You know, it's been a pitcher's duel, and good pitching will beat good hitting every time. The Panthers down to the last chance here, number 15, Josh Griffiths, third baseman. Well, he scored all the runs for the Panthers yeah, tonight. he's been the hero so far. <laughs> Pretty pitch. Wow. Right down the middle. From what I've seen, they have got some fine pitching. Yep. Big curveball just missed. Yeah, I'm telling you, he don't. Josh, I thought he was going to try to chase that one, Tim. 
Look, that makes 11 strikeouts for 10 or 11 for the Panthers, which is too much. You like to keep it. Uh, you want to keep your strikeouts. If you, if you can keep it five or less, you're going to win most games. That's right. But when you start climbing up eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, it ain't good. Uh, that, that helps the other team defensively. When little Bill used to pitch back back uh, a few years ago. He'd strike out 14 a game where you don't have a 21 outs. I mean, so that's only seven balls you had to had to make a play on. I remember back when Ashton played, I forget what y'all used to say as a pitch, pitch, and pray for rain or something. That's back yeah. for the pitch count. <laughs> we had a pretty good team back then. Just uh, Our one was good back then. They were the team to beat then. 3-1, okay. Might get things going with two outs here in the seventh. The tying run will be at the plate anyway, won't it? Yeah. Gabe Morris will come to the plate. If he gets the plate, we still got a chance. Oh, good there eye. There go. There's that two-out walk. And I guarantee the coach over there at uh, yeah, he's Irwin County is uh, right now. All right, Wilcox County is Gabe Morris up. Gabe's got a, got right, got the ability. Yeah, man, he's got power. He can hit now. Coach Lee's got gonna call him over. Tim, when we they're talking right here, I'm gonna give our sponsors another shout out before the game's over. We have Popeyes and Dairy Queen, Lutz Brown, Lee Engineer, and Homerville Jewelers, Mike Golf Carts, Walker Jones Nissan, Camping World of Valosta. Burt CPA, Jerry J's Hog and Bones, Huey's One Stop Pizza Wings, Heritage Bank, and Tom Kennedy for Sheriff. Man, and y'all please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just you can watch us on YouTube, hit subscribe, and that way uh, Daniel can get all out the notifications. and Free of charge, too. That's right. Don't cost you nothing, man. And me and Tim will be back here, I know for sure, Friday at 5.55 with the first pitch coming at 6 o'clock. Probably with a jacket on. Yeah, it's going to be a little cool. I think we're getting back to regular winter weather. I think the high is 59 Friday. Two outs. Allen here in the bottom of the seventh. Clinch trailing 3-1. Foul straight back. Great cut by Morris. Yeah. Gabriel right here can be the hero. Josh man. Griffiths is down at first. I'm not sure if we got a runner with uh, maybe a little more fleet of foot or exactly what we're going to do here. April's got a big bat, man. Oh, good eye. That's a fine curveball, but a good take by Gabriel. Yeah, it was. 1-1. One, one. Don't know. If, sometimes the pressure can get to you. Sometimes it's when you're trying to nail down that last out. That strike zone looks like it's about the size of a coffee cup. Oh, he get into that one. Fouled weakly up the first baseline. Man, Gabriel always Caught him in on the handle. was going to be the run of the family. But I tell you what, last couple yeah, of years, he, shot on up, he? Yeah, he has. Ball and two strikes to Morris here. Last chance for the the Panthers to keep this thing alive. Trying to get to Freddie Lawfully to hit next. Oh, he'll no, did it. He lost it. He's gonna run. He's got to throw him down at first, and he got him. Uh, I thought he fouled it off first, Tim. So Morris goes down on strikes. Ball gets away from the catcher, but the catcher throws the first for the third out here. And, folks, we com we played seven complete. Clinch County Panthers come up short, three to one. That's been a night of strikeouts, to Tim. The Wil Wilcox Patriots, a fine pitch ball game. 11, for the, 11 strikeouts for the Patriots and nine for the Panthers. Man, 20 strikeouts. Usually it's a close game. It's a yeah. two-run game. So. so Wilcox runs their record to 6-0. and oh. Clinch falls to 7-4. and four. Next broadcast is going to be Friday night when the visit in Irwin County Indians, big rival of the Clinch County Panthers, visit here, here in uh, Cecil Barber Field. Man, uh, Tim, man, I've enjoyed it, brother. God bless everybody. And y'all keep the people in your prayers up in Tennessee that has the bad weather. Uh, man, y'all keep them in your prayers. Uh, me and Tim appreciate everybody tuning in. Tim, man, I'll see you Friday, brother. All right. Enjoy it, folks. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV.